Howdy, and welcome to another episode of the almost world famous Cactus Atlas. On today's episode, we're exploring Schneff Farms and seeking out some fall fun. So if you wanna find out if it's worth the trip, come on this adventure with us and let's go explore together. So upon entering here, you're given a map of the farm. And boy, is there a lot to do here. So the first order of business today is they have a pumpkin and chili party going on here for fall right now. And I am starving, it is lunchtime. I need to find a bite to eat. I think we're heading towards the area where the chili is supposed to be served. And it looks very crowded. <laughs> it is lunchtime. I hear music. So. Uh, we ended up getting two chili dinners. And I got one with pumpkin chili, and then Amy got one with the regular chili, so we could try both. And it came with the chili, cornbread, set of brownie, but we got a cookie, which is fine by me, a drink, and then some corn. And we didn't grab any butter or anything for the corn, so I tasted it without it. It tasted fine by me, <laughs> so. So I'm gonna try the pumpkin chili first because that seems appropriate as fall. Mm. Very honestly, this is awesome. This is maybe the best chili I've had in a long time, to be honest. It's really like chunky, it's hearty. Got a lot of beans in there. It's a lot heartier than the regular one. Dripping it all over Amy's corn on the cob now. But it's really just got a lot. It's nice and thick, not watery at all. It's got a lot of flavor, little sweet notes to it but perfect amount of heat. Not too much heat, but just a little bit. I, it's a really good chili. All right, now I'm gonna try the regular chili. I don't know, that, that might be hard to beat pumpkin chili, but let's see. Mm. It's really good chili. The pumpkin chili is the way to go, for sure. And the other thing I'm excited to try here is the cornbread, so let's see how that goes. Mm. Man. Honestly, I was just expecting like cheap theme park quality food, and this is seriously really good cornbread. Okay, now I gotta get serious with you here for a moment. Want to be? You gotta really get on the same level kind of stuff here. That was so good. I know I keep saying that. That hit the spot. That exceeded every expectation I had. I am now fueled up, and I am ready to do some fall fun. So Schnepps is kind of like a like a farm experience, but also, I don't want to say theme park, but they do have quite a few rides here, uh, ranging anything from a carousel to some more exciting rides, like a little roller coaster, as well as some other thrill rides. So we're gonna go check out some of that stuff. So you can see they've got a little selection of rides. Ferris wheel, teacups, a petting zoo, a roller coaster in the Hyperloop, which I think the Hyperloop is the most thrilling right here, probably. So one really cool thing I like about this farm is you do pay an entry fee. Uh, it's $22 a person currently, um, but if you go to your local Fry's grocery store, which is a grocery store here in Phoenix, uh, you get a deal. It's $17 per person. And a really cool thing is a lot of the, the rides and things are included as part of that price. So you don't have to buy separate ride tickets, which is kind of a rarity for places like this. Usually they nickel and dime you for everything. So really awesome positive point about Schneff Farms. You can see they have quite the selection of rides here. They've got like swings over here. And look at this. They even have a roller coaster, a small roller coaster at that, but how cool is that? So yeah, it's official. It goes around three times around the circle. So it looks a little rough though, but I'll do it. It's rough. 
so the gravity roller coaster as it's called uh, it was actually a lot of fun you get to do three loops around it um, a little rough though when you go down the hills especially if you sit in the back uh, definitely if you have neck problems or back problems I wouldn't recommend it but I really enjoyed it for a small coaster here at a park like this that didn't cost anything additional it's worth a ride The swings are pretty fun, except uh, the seats were not made for a guy my size, so a little painful. Definitely like on the back of your thighs, there's a metal bar that sat there, but it was worth enduring for a few minutes, so. They also have mini golf all back here too. And if you wanna play, looks like you come over here to pick up your ball and clubs. So that's really cool. The mini golf I just checked is free. I mean, you pay for your admission to get into Schnepp Farms, but once again, yet another activity here that you don't have to buy extra tickets for. Right on. So one thing that they have here is a four acre corn maze. And you know us, we're corn maze connoisseurs. So we're gonna go see if this meets our expectations. All right, you ready, Amy? We just did a corn maze about a week ago. I think our skills are still fine tuned and ready to go. So let's go check this one out. Okay. I really don't know if there's a difficulty level for this. I think there's only one corn maze maybe. So I don't know if this is going to be difficult or challenging, but we're about to find out. I'm going to guess it's a very short maze because they didn't really have any warnings about bringing water or anything in here. But the sun is a little bit warm, I must admit. So I guess if we just turn left, we would have skipped all of that extra workout we got, but I have to work off that chilly dinner we ate earlier. So Amy, in the tall grass, is this making you think of that movie? Slightly. It's not as claustrophobic though. True. Because if it was that, that you'd be like walking through the corn, like, you know, basically like this. <laughs> <laughs> so as with many things here, this corn maze did not have an additional cost. Uh, it's just part of the admission price that you pay to get in. So that is a plus. I believe we may be coming to the end of our journey, is my prediction. We survived. Okay, so we survived the corn maze over here. I would say it was okay. Um, Apollani still reigns supreme when it comes to the corn maze. This one didn't have much of a challenge. Um, very short. The, the positive is that it didn't cost anything extra to do it, but definitely no challenge very quick to do but still it's a corn maze it's fun and they also have a pumpkin patch here and you can see your prices for pumpkins down there you got quite a variety based on sizes part of fall and fall fun is going to a pumpkin patch and here at Schneff Farms they do have a pumpkin patch uh, you can see it's kind of a very quick grab and go style pumpkin patch uh, you don't actually go in and cut the pumpkins off the vines here at Schnepp's um, if you're looking for that type of an experience, we do have that here in Arizona. Uh, you might want to consider Apple Annie's uh, Produce Farm in Wilcox, Arizona, if you can spare the drive. It is about three and a half hours away from Phoenix, but we do have a video that we made recently of that experience. If you want to check that out, and we'll put a link in the description down below. It's extremely family friendly here too. Uh, probably a great place, especially if you live in Phoenix, to bring your family and do family activities. Um, but we see a lot of families with people with strollers, um, all ages. So definitely very, very family friendly and fun. They have private bonfires you can do here too. And looks like they got sticks probably for roasting marshmallows. Now you know me, if you watch our channel, the Cactus Atlas, I love trains and I'm not gonna pass up a train ride. Only thing is, is we have to buy tickets for this train. It's not included with the cost of admission. So we bought our tickets for the train, got them right here. Um, you did to buy them additionally and they were about three bucks and a quarter per person. So um, not as expensive as I thought they'd be. We got the very back of the train. 
which is great for vlogging because I didn't want to get photobombed from behind. I think we're about to depart the station now and get away from this annoying music. <laughs> so far, this is a nice little train ride. It's very smooth. It looked like it might be a little bit rickety, but it's actually very smooth. You can see there's some of the rides back there, the teacups, some miniature airplanes over there. Uh, you got your swings and the roller coasters coming up over here too. And from here, there's the corn maze that we did earlier. Now for fall, they did mention that they have a spooky train ride. When we bought our tickets for this, they just said you need to make sure to ride the train by 6 p.m. Uh, because I think the spooky train must have different pricing, which I'll look up later and put down in the description. Oh, that's pretty cool. Kind of spooky, you got a skeleton out there. Some dead looking trees. Very uh, craggly looking, I like the way they did that. Some more spooky scenery there. It looks like an altar to do sacrifices maybe to the corn people. This looks like it has some potential at nighttime. I don't think we're gonna be here late enough to enjoy the spooky ride, but from what I'm seeing of the scenery, it seems like it could be fun for the family. Some spooky, easy going Halloween fun. Yeah, it feels like we picked up some speed over here now. We're moving. Ooh, choo choo. And there's a good view of the pick your own vegetable farm. The actual train ride, I think, is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, I mean, not saying it's that it's not really long. We've probably been on it for maybe, I'd say, like seven, eight minutes, it seems. But for the price, I think it's worth it. And we're approaching the station here. The ride has come to an end, sadly. I'd like to do that again, but maybe later. I enjoyed that a lot, actually. I did too. Nice. So that was the train ride. I'd say for my $3, I really enjoyed that. You got a nice little breeze. It's a warm day here, so I thought it was a nice way to cool off, even though a lot of it was in the sun. Um, this is really pleasant. So back over here in this area is where most of the food seems to be located. It's where the chili dinners were. And I believe there's a beer garden back here too. At least it's on the map. I did not see where that is though yet. But over here, I know they had some grilled items like hot dogs, hamburgers. There it is. It's the bar for those of you wanting alcoholic beverages. They do have beer, wine, looks like cider, and a couple other things. Now for those of you that do like a beer every once in a while, I did get a can of beer here. It was $7 for the can. Looks like they have a little store here with a lot of pickled and jarred items fresh from the farm here. Little grilling sauces here for eight bucks. Dressings. Peach blossom honey. So they have a lot of like custom made stuff here. And ooh, popcorn seasoning even. They've got a bunch of t-shirts here too. If you're into t-shirt collecting. That one looks kind of nice. And now it's time to give you a few final thoughts about our day here at Schnepp Farms. Um, overall, we had a really nice time today. Perfect place if you want somewhere to go to bring the family on a Saturday or Sunday. Um, beautiful weather here in the autumn. We, we did come here seeking autumn type entertainment and we did find some um, we have the pumpkin and chili party going on right now and I got to sample that uh, pumpkin chili it was delicious you've got a pumpkin patch back there um, you've got other things like the corn maze so it did deliver on its promise of autumn fun now the one thing I would say from a farm experience especially if you're looking to pick pumpkins if you're looking to like cut your pumpkin off the vine and wander on a pumpkin patch they don't have that here. If you're looking for that type of experience, we do have another video that we mentioned earlier, Apple Annie's um, in Southeast Arizona. If that's more of what you're looking for, you might wanna check them out. But otherwise, yeah, they delivered here and it was a lot of fun and we will come back. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, hit that notification bell if you wanna stay informed anytime we release new videos, which we're doing all of the time. You can also find us on social media at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under the name Cactus Atlas. 
Well, that's going to do it for us today. We hope you enjoyed yourselves. We loved having you along, and we look forward to seeing you on our next adventure right around the corner. Thanks a lot, and take it easy. Schnepf. 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 Or just schnepf. Hmm.